my name is Mark Mutinero. I graduated from Guelph in 2015, where I received my Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Governance. I'm currently employed as a policy analyst with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Um, and what my particular office does is looks at the overarching national policy issues uh, that are facing Canadian fisheries today. So um, things like uh, climate change and how that is impacting sustainable fisheries and the communities that depend on them. What I do uh, in a normal day is uh, policy analyst sort of provides advice that shapes future policy changes. Um, and you can kind of split that into short-term uh, projects and long-term projects. Short-term projects where you're providing advice uh, to senior management, to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans on a question that may have come in, people asking why certain things are, are that way and why can't they be this way, so providing that sort of uh, feedback. And then the long-term uh, projects where we're looking at what does the fishery of you know tomorrow look like in the face of climate change in the face of a changing economy um, how can we make sure that our policies the regulations that guide everything are flexible enough to adapt and ensure that both um, our fisheries are healthy and the communities that depend on them are just as healthy I didn't really have a set path in my undergrad, um, but I knew that I liked to write. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to be working in something that was current and not the same for 35 years straight until you retire. And so after having a few conversations uh, with some of my profs, I realized that uh, working as a policy analyst gave me the opportunity to put my critical thinking skills to use, put my writing skills to use in an area where you could, you can actually make a difference that you can see the effects of long term, and especially one that you could jump from department to department, from team to team and work on different things. If you're tired of sustainability, you start moving into, you know, social policy. If you don't like one policy, you, you read up on a different policy and that flexibility and that ability to make a difference. I know that sounds contrived, um, but to just do your best on something you're passionate in. If your passion changes, you can change with it. Without a doubt, um, my environmental governance degree was multidisciplinary. So geography, poli-sci, economics, and the skills that I developed to view problems through multiple lenses and identify potential, potential solutions is the exact kind of critical thinking skills that most government departments are looking for. Um, I went and yeah, I got a uh, master's degree in energy policy, um, but policy is policy. And I was able to sprinkle in the geography and the politics and the economics that I learned at Guelph into that master's degree and then was able to hand this to hiring departments everywhere and say, look what I've done, look what I can do here. My favorite memory uh, at Guelph is all the time that I spent at the climbing gym, which back then was a little dingy, dusty, dusty basement uh, that was full of friends and rope and chalk and meant so much to me and was the reason that I survived four years of papers and exams and just stress. So I know the climbing gym has changed since then, but go and create new memories there. Okay, that's for you guys to decide what to do with it. We napped there on occasion. Uh, my advice is grade 11 and 12 is tough enough and directing your entire life at age 16, 17 and 18 is absolutely bonkers. Um, so take your time if you can. Be kind to yourself. If you can go back for an extra semester at a high school and then work, do it. Um, yeah, if I didn't take time uh, to think about it in a no pressure setting, I would not have found Guelph's Environmental Governance Program, plain and simple.